All right, guys, this is not actually an unboxing video, but a follow up from my System76 Galago Pro purchase. Originally, the laptop came with Ubuntu 20.04, but I decided to install Pop OS 20.04. So I went through the, the setup, which is pretty simple. I've added a link to the instructions in case you want to do the same. But here I'll focus on after installing the, the OS. So this is the state of Pop OS after the install. I'll go over the, the basic experience of the Pop OS plus the installation of my favorite extensions. So pressing the, the pop key uh, on your keyboard will open the dash bar on the left. The thing that I personally don't like is the fact that by default the dash bar is hidden on the left side with no way to make it visible. So uh, we'll fix that uh, with one of the extensions that I'm going to install. So the first difference of Pop OS is that it offers Pop Shop which is pretty similar to Ubuntu Store if you're familiar with it. Here you can search, install and remove software. Uh, you can also manage updates of the operating system and any installed software. On the top right is the search bar where you can look for applications. Uh, I will install my first uh, and favorite companion, uh, Twix. Uh, Twix allows me to customize the out-of-box GNOME experience as well as manage the extensions that I will install uh, later. Now that Twix is installed, I can press the pop key, type Twix, and open it. Here in the extensions menu, I'll be able to see and manage the extensions that I will install later, like I said. So in order to install the extensions, we need to open Firefox. Again, pop key to open the dash bar. Uh, open the browser, uh, type extensions.gnome.org. The first extension I will install is dash to doc. That will allow me to actually configure the dash to dock the way I want, not the way that Pop OS thinks it's good. You can install the extension via command line, uh, or like in here in my case, I will use a, a browser plugin. So since uh, this is the first time I'm installing an extension, I need to enable this browser extension uh, first. Okay, now that the browser extension is installed, uh, we can refresh the page, and you will see a switch button showing off. Just click on, uh, on the switch uh, to turn to on and confirm, confirm that you want to install. Nice, now you can see that at least the dash pops up as I hover over. Now let me configure it the way that I like and for that let's open Twix again. Let's go to extension menu, find dash to dock, clear on the gear icon. Uh, here you can change the position of the dash, I personally like it on the bottom. Uh, I will also reduce the size of the, the icons a little bit. So Dash to Dock has an intelligent auto hide feature that can be configured according to your preferences. So browse around, see what uh, you think it's best for your needs. Let me close all the windows here. And as you can see now, the dash is on the bottom and auto hides when I'm not hovering over the area. So it's pretty cool. Next extension uh, is CPU Power Manager. And this allows you to create and manage your profiles for your CPU. You have preset configurations uh, and the ability to create new ones. I think it's good when you do several different tasks with your computer. So for example, sometimes I'm editing videos, sometimes I'm playing games, and those may need different like, compute power. So I can do those presets and you no, know, just go with it and quickly uh, toggle or change them. So after you install, you can see the, the main extension menu uh, with the minimum and maximum frequency sliders, tur turbo boost, and profile options. If you click on preferences, uh, you will get to choose where the, the extension is shown. And if you go to profiles tab, you can review the existing ones and create and remove profiles. Next, sound input. This extension is simple but very useful. Uh, it allows you to quickly control input and output for your laptop. It's useful when you want to use, for example, your headphone for audio, but your external mic for voice. Uh, you can make these changes pretty quickly. So next up is Caffeine. Uh, to me, it's a very cool extension that allows you to temporarily disable auto suspend and screensaver. I used to use a similar extension on my old Mac, and I was very glad to find that Linux had something similar. I use that all the time. You know, sometimes you just want your computer to be on all the time, uh, not be bothered by the auto suspend or screensaver. So I hit that uh, little mug up top and you're good to go. All right, 
last but not least, open weather. This extension gives you a lot of good information about the weather around you. It sits right next to the clock and has a sleek dashboard. I love it. I think it gives me way more information than the default GNOME uh, weather information. So if we go back to Twix and hit the extensions menu, uh, we'll be able to see all the installed extensions there. And for example, I'll open the sound input and output. I could go there and configure its settings, so on and so forth. So let me close everything out and we should be done. But before we go, this background needs to go. Let me pick something more interesting uh, until I download a better picture. Oh yeah, and by the way, I love the light mode. Well, that's it. This was my initial Pop! OS setup and experience. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, leave your like, your comment, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.